Bob the Gadget Guy here with another way for you to spend money and have a lot of fun. Now maybe you're flying some of the smaller quads or drones out there and you're thinking of moving up into the midsize. This is a flip quad. It's made by Paul Baxter down at Wits by Quads, also known as Ready to Fly Quads. Dot com and he builds these up for you in about three weeks you order them and you can customize all the options and features on it but this is a an amazing performing mid-size quadrocopter so let's go ahead and take a look at all its features and functions the flip quad by witspy or ready to fly quads.com is a g10 frame that means it's super strong like epoxy carbon fiber circuit board material. It's about a quarter inch thick. This stuff is indestructo. You can hit this thing to the ground full speed all you want. This frame is going to hold up. It's got these little legs on it with rubber feet and you see how the motors mount on the ends. The battery is on the bottom over here with your velcro strap. Standard deal. The top has the electronics package in it up here and it's under this really cool looking plastic dome. Uh, I've hit this baby down, head down a few times. There's like a little hair fine crack in it there. You can see it's about it. And they're pretty cheap to replace. On the top here of the electronics package is the GPS module in this one here. Around it is an LED ring board. That's like a $14 option. And it lights up all kind of really cool patterns to uh, tell you what mode you're in while you're flying around. It also makes it look really alien. The uh, motor controllers, the ESCs are over here, right on the legs. The generic ones that come with it are just super. And what's even more important is the motors over here. This is the standard flip quad motor. See, it says ready to fly quads on there, if you can almost see it. This baby has the really high quality uh, bearings in the unit, which make it really quiet and really a strong performer. As compared with some of the other ones out there, the super popular ones, these stock motors really cook. Uh, I hadn't seen any reason to upgrade them yet. They're small, light, um, they've made hardly any noise and have tremendous power. Um, the receiver is tucked in right under there. You can see the antenna popping out, so it has some room underneath for different electronics and stuff. Here's the low voltage alarm board stuck right in there. It's got a little beeper, starts beeping at you. And you can just clip one of these little zip ties on the dome, pull the dome up and access your electronics up on the top over here. So really a nice overall package in about, you know, 350 millimeter class quad drone. Should you want to make adjustments to the flight controller brain, hook up a USB cable through the little hole in the electronics dome cover and you use a program that runs on a PC provided with a unit. Flight characteristics on the flip quad, superb, ultra stable. I had about a five mile an hour crosswind over here and it was really holding. Power, oh yeah. Just kick it with a 14 volt battery. You're up in the clouds in no time. These uh, stock motors are as good as anybody else's hop-up motors. Let's take up a little uh, closer look here. With that little bit of cross breeze, this thing is still rock solid. You can move it down the street really slowly like it has a brain. At nighttime for flying with the LEDs all on, it looks totally alien.